Okay, today is Wednesday, January 4th, 2023, and it is 4.23 a.m. And I am awake. I have a shirt on, I promise. <laughs> it's just a little cut. So, a while ago, someone asked if I smoked cigars, and I usually don't. I haven't smoked one in a while. Like, since I was, wow, it has been a while. But I did go up to the smoke shop, LD's, in Stuyvesant Plaza. And said F it one day, I think it was after my birthday. Because I had birthday money. And, uh. So, but I've kept it in this. And they even took off the little thing for me. I'm not going to keep that. There we go. So. And I am sorry I forgot your name. And I cannot think of it. But this is for you. And I'm pretty sure I remember how to light this. But I don't want to use just a regular lighter. So I know that sounds ridiculous, but. So this will not be a new, a new thing. And, I mean, it was cheap. It was a factory smoke by Drew Estate. So. Oh my god, you know who I feel like. <laughs> so. Celebrity Big Brother. UK. The one that Pete Burns is on. It was the one where. Oh my god, what the hell is his name? It was the guy that Tony Blair always made fun of. It was the episode, it was the season with, like, Tracy Bingham, is that her name? The chick from Baywatch? And Dennis Rodman, and... The first non-celebrity, celebrity Chantel. And... But Pete Burns was on it. It was, I guess, right before he... No. I think it might have been after, like, all of his surgeries. And he needed the money. Like, he was clear, like, medically cleared. And, uh... To, like... I don't know. But, uh... Because they had said something about his lips. Like, the other castmates but George it's George something but Tony Blair was always making fun of him
and he used to walk around with his cigars. Like, that's how he would walk around. Like, fucking Archie Bunker. <laughs> but, uh, This actually reminds me of my ex-boyfriend who would spend hundreds of dollars on cigars and then wouldn't even buy me dinner at the food court in the mall. So whenever we went out, I made it a point to not eat because I don't eat. Like, especially mall fast food. I don't know. And I mean, this was a while ago. Um, like years ago. Um, but, yeah, I'm smoking a cigarette now. That thing I can't deal with. It's annoying. I tried it for you. Um. So we would go, away and it would either be LDs or you know, there's another cigar place on like Wolf. Central Ave. Central Ave, I think. Like, further up. Central. And, uh... There's actually, like, a really nice one in Saratoga where, like, you can actually become a member. And they have, like, this whole back room. And, you like, Aldi's has, like, a little side room where you can, like... Like, you can smoke in the whole place. And I don't at LDs, except for the humidor room, which is nice, like, but, uh, like, the place in Saratoga, like, you can't smoke cigarettes, it's strictly cigars, and, like, you have to pay to be a member, and, like, to go back to, like, the back room, even though you can see it from right there, and you get, like, hors d'oeuvres and drinks and blah, blah, blah. And I actually did order a drink one time, he didn't ask me. He was very selfish. And he couldn't afford his lifestyle. Like, in Stuyvesant, we have a, we have Joseph Ebanks. It's a men's store, whatever. They have the most exquisite little shirts. But I won't, like, they're comfy, but, uh, he would go in there and pick up stuff like he had money for it, and he never did. Like, stop, no, that's why he had his house, like, basically taken away. Like, he lived in Saratoga. Yeah. <laughs> You can't afford to live in Saratoga if a you have a huge piece of property that is crap. And B like he was one of those people that litter boxes were a foreign concept to him. So he would always run his mouth about, oh, why don't you want to, like, come up to my house, and blah, 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 and every, whatever, and then, 
he would get pissed about that. And then he would come back at me like, oh, at least I don't live at my mom's house. First of all, my house is clean. Like, cleaner than his house probably ever was. And the second, no, I do not live with my mom. I live upstairs. I pay all of my bills on time. I pay my rent on time. And that has made me trying to get into the bathroom closet. If you can hear her cat meowing. Um. So yeah, he was a total scumbag that I hate it <laughs> for a long time. And now I'm just indifferent to him. Like, I know he exists, but his... And he has stuff going on, but I'm not involving myself in that stuff because it's not my business. And it's not my, my issue. So, Happy New Year. I hope you all are well and you had a safe and Happy New Year. And that you I don't know. I just hope we all have a good new year. Or a good twenty twenty three at this point. Alright, I love you guys. Remember you're all awesome. Don't let anyone ever take that away from you. Because We're, we're all awesome and if you had a rough 2022 make 2023 your bitch <laughs> have a good day guys thanks for watching